Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can rename multiple files by using Excel and the command prompt. And we're going to do that by making this Power BI solution where I can rename all the files in a folder quite easily. So let's look at that. To rename all the files, we need to go to get data and choose from folder and find the right folder. In this case, it's the rename files and I press open and transform data. And we're going to remove all the extensions from the names. We can do that by extracting everything before the dot. We do that like this and then we have, we have the names. Next, we need to specify what directory we're talking about when we run the command. And therefore we add a column up here where we call this cmd path like this and we add cd which means change directory and we add the folder path which is already specified and then we add this column after that we need to add the new name of the file and we call this one new name and we can call this, um, let's say all these files are budget files. So we can add budget and the old name and it's 2021. So this is the new name of the files and we have the new names here. After that, we need to add quite a different quite a difficult formula, uh, but it's the renaming um, command. And to do that, we need the old name, which is this one. And we need the extension. And we need to do the same thing with the new name and the extension. And because we need to rename the files, we start the command with a rem, meaning rename. And we have to add these apostrophes because it has to be in brackets when we when we make the command. So we need to do like this, and we also need a space between the the between the new name and the old name. So we need to do like this, and we have the command for the old name plus extension and we have the new name and the extension and we have this like this then we can finish our job we can clean our data a bit if you want to just taking the columns we don't need anymore like this let's take this one and this one doesn't matter so remove those and then we can just close and load the data and the data appears here in Excel. And we have the full list of all the files in the folder. So if we go to the folder and we run the command, firstly, we need the command path, where are the files? And we do that by copy pasting this. And afterwards we have the commands for all the files and we add those to the CMD path as well. And when we've done that, all the files are updated with the new name. And if we need to make another fol folder where we can uh, rename all the files, we can always just go back here and change the path in the source code here. Where are the files? And we will just refresh this one by pressing this one. And we can get the full list here again if we want to. So we can always just reuse this code for a new folder. And that's basically how we rename multiple files by using Excel and a bit of Power BI to make it a smart solution.